Hi there 202 fans, um, I'm back with WTF 202, brand new engine build, um, had a little bit of problem with the last one, he uh, destroyed a piece of the piston and bent a couple of rods, as you do, um, so yeah this is the new motor, um, so it's a virgin uh, black block that we bought out to 30 thou, uh, had custom CP forged pistons made in the states. Um, and crankshaft rebuilders H beam forged rods. Um, the head is the yellow terra item that I had before, although this time we've gone for a lot more radical porting on it. Uh, it's about as far as we can go this time. Roller rockers, the usual stuff up top. Um, <clears throat> a high volume, high energy sump on it. The cam this time is a much hotter Clive cams custom grind. Um, so it should see the power open up a bit more. Um, we've done the usual oil mods to the block, exter external oil lines, um, a few uh, deburring and opening up in the galleries and just uh, getting it to flow a bit better. Just got a standard blue printed oil pump on it, don't need a high volume pump at all, just choose out your cam gear. Um, what else have we done internally? It's uh, pretty much the same as the last build inside apart from that. We've got the um, Gasket Solutions MLS, MLS head gasket on it. Um, hanging off the side we've got the standard VK EFI inlet manifold, poured it out a bit. And we've got the Garrett um, GT35 um, turbo with a 0.82 exhaust housing on it. Uh, just have a look down there and just sort of see it hiding. Squid Tech manifolds as we had before um, <clears throat> and a teal wastegate there only got a five pound spring in it at the moment just while we run the motor in so I have started it up already and I'll uh, patch a bit of that clip in just so you can see the start I've put a Toyota Supra R154 gearbox in it because I kept destroying the W series boxes so hopefully this one holds together a bit better um, had to get a custom bell housing made and I had it done by the rod shop wasn't too impressed with their work to be honest um, a lot of things sort of didn't line up there wasn't a lot of uh, forethought sort of gone into the design of the product that they gave me um, particularly when I first started up the motor I had their clutch inspection cover on and it was grinding on the flywheel which made a rather awful noise <coughs> Um, so yeah, so I've done about 100 kilometres in it so far, and it's running nice. It needs a bit of a tune. The the uh, the cam's pulling about 10 inches of mercury, between 10 and 8 inches of mercury on idle, um, which is a little bit less than the last one, as you, you'd expect with a hotter cam. Uh, so the fueling's not quite right on it yet. I probably um, need to pull it back a little bit, and uh, we'll get it on the dyno soon. Just trying to run it in and get some Ks on it. Um, Gearbox, but the clutch wise is the same clutch I had before, um, which is the extreme clutches setup that I've uh, had custom made for it, which you can buy through um, a Brake Place in Mitcham. <coughs> um, otherwise, we're pretty much the same car as we were before, apart from the motor and the gearbox. Um, I had a bit of a noise issue with the gearbox initially when I took it for a drive. I was using Penrite synthetic uh, gear oil in it, but um, I've since gone and bought some Redline um, MT90 gear oil, which is this one here. Um, a lot of the Toyota guys recommend it, said it's the duck's nuts, so put that in today and it has made a huge improvement in shifting and quieting things down significantly. Um, it's a much nicer gearbox to drive now and I'm a lot happier with it. Um, so here we go, I'll fire it up for you. I'll just get a little bit uh, closer so you can see a few uh, things working there. <clears throat> Pretty noisy with the fuel pumps when you've got three of them. And away we go. Needs a bit of retensioning there. 
Um, there's a little bit of a rattle noise you can hear too there. It's just the uh, the uh, clutch fork needs a little bit of adjusting. It's got these little rubber mounts on it that hold the uh, throw out bearing on it. And uh, they're probably a bit worn. I should have replaced them. Anyway, so you can see it's idling away there. It's pretty, uh, pretty cammy. Better get some new plug leads on it. I've got the uh, ones that I had previously. Um, got some new ones ordered. <coughs> so yeah, we'll uh, do a bit of an in-car video for you uh, shortly. There's that ball bearing turbo spinning down there. Love it.